that football talk. Yeah. It's just, this is going to sound misogynistic when they have, when they make women do extended <laughs> sports talk. It just sounds, <laughs> I don't know. I kept on remembering that she was Zendaya. Who did you, um, who'd you like more art or Patrick? The blonde. Of course. The really? blonde. Art a hundred percent. Like not even a thought to the other guy. He isn't, he is the villain. Like, I don't want to have a nuanced take on this movie. Really? I, I want to have Patrick. No, Patrick is wrong. The, I liked how he was kind of a loser. No, <laughs> losers are wrong. <laughs> Upstanding blonde men who follow through on their word are constantly led astray by ethnically ambiguous women. Maybe. <laughs> you, can, you can see Maybe what I'm getting some parallels. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. um, but no, Patrick yeah. is vague. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for Megalopolis. I, that's the only movie I think I might see the rest of the year because mm-hmm. it's very rare for me to like anything. I mean, I could have probably watched like Mad Max Furios and liked yeah. it, but it's been so long. And also it's a car centric movie, so <laughs> I'm not watching it. It's true. It is very car centric, yeah. but it's commentary on that. The yeah. Mad Max movies came from, he was working as a yeah. doctor in Australia in like the seventies and just the worst stuff that would come. It was just like, Australian drunk driving and like hooligan stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what inspired the movie. Um, The first one is crazy compared to the rest. Crazy in terms of how like small its Mm -hmm. scope and its story is. Um, Because the rest get really zany. Yeah. The outfits are not as crazy in the originals, I think. Right. Yeah. It's also like just the collapse is very small in the first Mad Max. Like he's a police officer in it. So there's still like a semblance of a state, but the police officers are all just like leaving and because they're just giving up on society. Um, I heard a story actually from my sister where she, you know, she also worked for the library for a while and she Mm -hmm. was talking to a library patron who was explaining that like in the seventies, there were areas of the city where like cops would drive through them, but they'd never stop. Mm -hmm. Um, And my sister asked my dad about that and he got really quiet and uncomfortable and he was like, it was a different time. Um, yeah. <laughs> and he like, didn't like thinking about it, but yeah, I always, I think it, it's such an interesting question. Cause it's like, you can say that you control areas like CPD has a well-defined jurisdiction, Yeah, you know, but like de facto wise, if you cannot exert the force of the law and if you're in more danger there than like anyone else, like, yeah, you don't have control over yeah. that. Yeah. It's like, it gets into military kind of stuff of like, mm-hmm. All right. Do you actually like, (laughs) can you hold that territory? You know, there was like a statistic I saw that came out that like 90% of like what they call like the Chicago strike force. Like the people are like, you know, like are out on the beat at night. Yeah. Like don't go to calls. They just like drive around and like give people tickets. Just do deterrence. Yeah. Basically. Interesting. So there are just, there still are these areas that they just will not go to. Cause I'm sure, you know, violence at night becomes more concentrated. Yeah. That's crazy. Like when I would drive through some areas, I'm like, yeah, it would be dangerous for me to stop here. Yeah. It's like, it, it would be weird to think that just like if I blew out a tire or something, I'm screwed. I'd be kind of fucked. Yeah. It's so weird to think about, but it's like true. Yeah. I, feel, I don't know. I've heard my, yeah. I've heard from multiple people, these stories of like getting their phone taken and then tracking it and like people going to the place where like, like a squatter thing and getting mm-hmm. their phone back or like, you know, basically paying the ransom for it. I'm like, that's insane. <laughs> yeah, I just give up. Yeah. My very zhuzhi Jamaican friend did it and like gave the homeless guy some money. And it was, he told us a very heartwarming story at the end, <laughs> but I think, <laughs> I don't know. My brother got his phone stolen in an alley in high school and Dude, they yeah. kept texting <laughs> my dad's number afterwards being like what is the i was the apple id password i'm not gonna get this <laughs> it reminds me the meme of like please i am a poor romanian virus right. please send me your bank information <laughs> yeah. yeah but my dad's like polish contractors were like ready to oh, take no, up arms yeah. and find this phone and my dad was like it's really not that serious like we can just get this new phone That's he's up for yeah. an upgrade anyway yeah, i have kind of a fantasy of someone trying to steal my bike so i'm just like i get to do violence to you <laughs> I'm allowed, <laughs> but no, yeah. I wouldn't actually do that. I wouldn't hurt people. Um, yeah. Um, I think your levels are good. All right. yeah, we okay. should be fine. Mm-hmm. We'll call you Matt in the episode, not sleepy. We'll do that. You should call me Matthew no, we'll- because Matthew. my mom's going to listen and be very mad. Oh, that I go, that I go by Matt. Oh yeah. She's oh. very, she's very protective. She gave you a wild spelling. Not a she wild, did. correct spelling. Yeah. But yeah. To listen though, you would, this is going to be a private one. I don't, did you oh, know that? Is that's fine she okay, better subscribe but you can still send her the yeah. audio file or something like that <laughs> yeah we will send you the file 
we can do uh, that. 